guys doing? Holiday shopping. Really? How? Amazon. Amazon? Are you serious? With all the cool shops that we have in Rogers Park and Edgewater? Of all the cool shops that we have, you decided to use Amazon? Say goodbye to your Amazon. Are you serious? This, this city was built by small businesses. Edgewater and Rogers Park have so many cool places to shop. And when you spend money locally, it stays locally. Come on, let's check out these stores around here. I guarantee you guys will find something you want to buy for yourself and for your family without using Amazon. Come on, let's go. Can you give us three gift ideas? Oh, I absolutely can. So uh, right over here, um, starting with our jewelry as well as sculptures. This is a kinesthetic artist, so all his work, both pendants, both earrings, and um, mobile uh, mobiles, are going to be kinesthetic artworks and sculptures. Uh, this is definitely for the person in your life who is like fashion forward, is definitely an individual, likes to show their in uniqueness via their jewelry and like what they wear, or like to have that specific one piece of art in their house that really just represents who they are. This is the Green Heart Shop. So everything in this uh, this back of the store is actually going to be for that person in your life who there may not be like, oh, I want a handmade scarf or I want like a big piece of jewelry, but they want their purchase to mean something. And um, one of their really um, unique gifts that they have is these socks right here. They're called Conscious Step. Each pair of socks actually gives back to a specific philanthropy. Um, right here you have one that gives back to HIV and AIDS treatments. You have one that goes here to plant trees in the rainforest. And you have one down here that actually goes to help save lost dogs and like um, abandoned animals and pets. So then if you have a person in your life who's like, okay, so clothes is not my thing. And then like, jewelry, I have enough of, I really just need something that specifically that I can love and only loves me, right? Then you have the plant. So here, the Rare Plant Company, their complete mission is to take away the fear of having a plant. Like so many people are like, if I have a plant, it's gonna die. I don't know how to take care of it. Well, they have all the books, all the instructions. They make it really simple, really easy, really approachable. Um, all of their hanging plants, they completely uh, source the stuff themselves. They are growing the plants here in the Galleria. So they're like constantly here every day taking care of them. And they're here if you have any questions. It's really approachable, really easy, and e uh, like simply priced. Like it is the perfect gift for the person who's like, I just want to come home and spray my plant and love my cactus. Like that's just exactly what it is. small gift shop, really, really small, like 100 square feet, and we have some great gift ideas uh, to suggest to you for holiday gift giving. One is this really, really nice cookbook produced by the Rogers Park Historical Society, and it reflects the diversity of our community and all the cultural differences that make Rogers Park what it is. So we have this available. Uh, for gift giving this holiday season. These are each $20 and we have them available here. Another really fun idea is this Chicago diorama. It's a puzzle and also a nice thing that you can sit on a shelf or whatever. Um, it comes to us from Bango Box 
and it comes in a nice package like this and then on the back you've got a little bit of history about the Chicago skyline and instructions on how to put it together which is always very helpful and this is $26.95 now if you need something for the youngster in your family we have Chicago coloring books these are $12 each and the maker of this is Sprouted Scribbles lots of interesting scenes from around the city and really a fun little coloring book that will help a young person learn about their native city or if it's someone out of town they can learn about Chicago and maybe want to come here and visit us someday. And also in Chicago, the most important, well, one of the most important pieces of attire that you need is a beanie. This one is a subdued one and the Chicago flag is represented by the blue cross stripes and the four stars. This is a great one for runners. And then for all around wear is this one with a really great palm on top. So it's double layered and displays the Chicago flag. All right, so uh, for this holiday shopping season, there are some graphic novels that I think would make pretty good gifts if you're looking to do graphic novels as gifts, which I think you should. Uh, the first thing I'm gonna point out would be uh, Neil Gaiman's A Study in Emerald, which is a, it's Neil Gaiman doing a Sherlock Holmes story, but with an H.P. Lovecraft twist. So for people who like things a little more of the darker, kind of, and Sherlock Holmesy inside, like that's a perfect um, sort of a, a book for them. Oh. Neil Gaiman saying in that vein, there's the Sandman, his, the story that broke him into comics in America. It, the um, Sandman series is coming back, or it's back in general, because it's the 30th anniversary of Sandman. It didn't go out of print or anything, but it's a new cover treatment, and it's a good way to like get somebody who's curious about Neil Gaiman's work and his work in comics specifically to like try a, a series that's like one of the best that's ever been done in comics. And uh, Netflix has the Chilling Adventures of Sabrina currently running, and people seem to be really getting into that. And there's a graphic novel for it. So it started out as a comic first, but now it's a hit Netflix series. So it's a Robert Aguirre Sacasa, and I would say like if somebody's really looking to kind of like enhance that thing that they got from Netflix, if there's, they're feeling like, oh, this is awesome, then give that a shot. Lexta, owner of Chicagoland Games Dice Dojo. All right, so uh, what are two things you would like to recommend for people for like this store, like Christmas recommendations? Games for the holiday season. Well, I could go all day, but I won't. I'll keep it short, guys. Well, the definition of short is one of our favorites called Five Minute Dungeon. This is a game you can play literally in five minutes. It's a countdown. You're playing a D and D type experience. You either win or lose in five minutes flat. Um, Absolutely fantastic, adrenaline packed, can play with anybody. The other one I really like for all audiences is called Medium. Uh, this is a card game where you each play a card and then explain why you played the card you have in three, two, one. You have three seconds to explain why you played the card. You played either right or wrong. Simple and how can you sync up with your friends? How well do you really know them? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I will tell you a little bit about the store. Uh, we're one of the biggest game stores in the world, and we're right here in Edgewater. We have thousands and thousands of choices and an expert staff that will be happy to help you find whatever you need and games that we play here on site every day of the week. One of my favorite games here is uh, Cards Against Humanity, but I wouldn't recommend that towards children. I would it could be towards I like say not. <laughs> I, it could be towards like young adults, like 16 and up. But I wouldn't recommend it for like 12 and under. And we'll find out how well <laughs> you really know your friends and family playing that for sure. <laughs> Thank you.